Okay, Bobby is making, she's using an Instapot for the very first time. We have never taken it out of the box. What are you making, Bobby? I'm making some sort of shredded taco meat. Like, what? What am I making, Mommy? Like, taco, like tacos. I'm making tacos. I'm making tacos. So do you have, are you using taco seasoning? No, I forgot to get taco seasoning at the store, so I just make it myself. So I'm kind of just throwing a bunch of stuff in, in there that I found on a recipe for taco seasoning. So how do you make taco seasoning? What kind of stuff, girl? Well, so far I've used um, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, paprika, dried right now, and I'm using cumin. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not even measuring it, I'm just throwing it in here. And what kind of meat are you doing? You using chicken breast? Yes. It kind of looks like a lot of it now. So you nervous about using that Instapot? A little bit. And we've had that Instapot for what? Maybe two years? Yeah, we've never used it. So first for everything. So we just took it out. This is the Instapot. We have, we first time using it after two years. I've heard great things about it, but I don't know, I've just never got around to it. And they have lots of recipes that you can try in an Instapot. Macaroni cheese looks interesting. Clam chowder, I've never made that. I made beef chili one time. Never had butternut squash, quinoa, love, love, love quinoa. I uh, never had any of that. He boils chicken roasted. That looks good. That looks good. Oh my gosh, the, my mouth is watering, guys. Oh, pulled pork. Now I do make that. I make that good. My pulled pork is good. Cornitas tacos, yummy. Uh -uh. I'm not a fan of bread pudding. If you like bread pudding, leave it in the comment section below. I'm making some chicken salad. Connie Child gave us the biggest can of chicken breasts in the world. <laughs> so this is my first time opening this, um, cracking that open, making chicken salad. Which, like tuna fish, I make it like tuna fish. I don't do anything fancy. This is the one thing I don't get too creative on. I do want it on a, um, I don't know, in New York, we call it Italian bread. What do they call it here? French bread. We call it Italian bread or Italian, or an Italian hero, whatever, get us a hero. So I was gonna eat it initially, eat this on crackers, but I was like, uh-uh. I want it on some bread with some tomatoes and lettuce and stuff. So the only thing I put in mine, I do minced onion. I did mince up my onion, some mayo, a, maybe a teaspoon of mustard. This is a big batch. And some sweet relish, salt and pepper. That's all I do to mine. Um, back in the day, I probably put boiled eggs, but I won't do that now. Um, I've also tried minced, um, some carrots. I've done minced carrots. So this is just tuna, onions, relish, mayonnaise, and mustard, salt and pepper. And... I was gonna mukbang, but guys, I don't know what it is. I have not been in the mood for the past two, three days. I've just been in bed. I just have, sometimes I have those moments where I just stay in bed. So I'm looking a hot mess, so you don't need to look at me. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna curl back in my bed. I have been working from bed. I've done some professional developments. I've done some, paid some bills. I have not done any vlogging or anything so I, I just have those moments where i shut down i, I don't know why it, it just catch i'm not i don't feel depressed or anything i just feel like i just want to be in my bed and not get out so it is now is this the right time bobby uh yeah so it is now 4 29 i'm just now getting up i got up just to make this <laughs> i'm going to eat and crawl back in my bed. Yeah. Sydney says, I'm boring. Get up. She's been wanting smoothies every day. I said, no, wait for Bobby to get up. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing, girl. A 
Oh, she's following the steps right here. Uh, but it's not plugged in. It's Oh, this thing is scary. Why are you scared, bro? Hey, I've seen stuff about these things blowing up in people's faces. Shut up! Are you serious? Yes! Guys, have you heard about these things blowing up in somebody's face? Shut up! Are you serious? Yes, yes. Bobby, now you want to scare us all. Yes. See, like, I don't even know, like, what's this little thing for? <laughs> what? What's this for, y'all? Wait, and like this, oh, it's just a measure. Okay. I get to you had to put water and stuff up in there? I put too much. But it's just, it's whatever, right? It's supposed to be a very tough back up. Girl, you better read the instructions. Because your face going to be gone. You started this project, not me. Girl. Okay, so. Alright, guys, let her figure this out. I know we got pressure cooker instant pot cooker experts in the house i know you guys tell me you use them all the time i want to learn how to use it for some rice that'll probably take like five minutes mm -hmm. and some collard greens i want to try for collard greens but it seems like it's just so small like the pot is so small you can fill it up really high though Ooh. Chicken. oh that's two hours no you want Fast. Oh, there's a poultry. Oh. Do I gotta click it again? Is it start? What's happening? Oh no, I think it's going. Is it start? Girl, watch your face. How you know it's working? I don't know. I don't hear anything. So I like it but no, it. the time is not moving. But I think it's 30 minutes. It doesn't do like 29 minutes, 50 sec sec seconds. Wait, let me. Where's the start button? What in the world? What is, what is, girl, it's gonna blow up. Timer. There's no start button? Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. What? What are you doing? Well, the thing, my recipe says 12 minutes. Okay. Go. What? Press the center dial to confirm cooking time. Settings, insert. Oh, do I have to put it on the temperature as well? Time. What? Come on. Wait, is there a button up top? No. It... Ah! Stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's closed. It's like cooking for. How about we just start over? Let's just do it again. Like, is it going? right now guys I kind of shook this a little bit at the top girl it's going you hear it? yeah I can hear oh, it I think I girl oh yeah 
I just jiggled the lid. We can smell it already, but why isn't the timer going? Unless it doesn't go by the seconds and stuff. This is probably the hours and that's okay. Girl, that red makes me nervous. Why I gotta be red? That's like danger. But you saw it though? Yeah, what was the first time? Girl, you got left in the camera. No, this first time using it. So <laughs> you nervous, Bobby? Wait. But I don't know what this is. Float valve. Removing lid. Did you do all of this stuff right here? Bobby. What's... Assembly. Did you insert the inner lid? No, that was already on there. Oh, oh that. Look. Oh wait, what's oh, the red? Oh girl, it was preheating. Oh. That's what, man, that's not we get. We can't be doing nothing. We are reading <laughs> the instructions. Oh, but who opened the box? Who should have read all the instructions okay, thoroughly? Okay, but who is clicking stuff? <laughs> I'm gonna click with you, boo. I got you. <laughs> wait, okay, so. All right, let me try this tuna. Let me try it on a cracker just so I see if I need any other seasonings on there. Let me tell you, sometimes I keep calling it tuna. Chicken salad is good on crackers. When you want that snack, I also love them on white crackers. Mm -mm. Let me try that again. Maybe a little more relish. I don't think it needs salt. A little more relish and pepper. And we good to go. I'm gonna hook up my sandwich. Hook up my sandwich. So what is it that you're trying to make, Sydney? Uh, but what do you mean? You have to set the time again? I don't know. I just started clicking something again, and then now the time's different. What? I, I just clicked timer again, and then it's gone. But the way that I wanted to do it, it was 30 minutes. My recipe is only, but I guess we could check it. Yeah. I guess you could add more. I'm time. not sure I can do this. So we'll turn the bag inside, inside out. out. Can you this book? No, really, I don't like it. Put your hand inside. Yeah. There you go, Sydney. There you go. You never even have to touch the chicken. Go, girl. Well, we can't have it pressuring on her stuff. What do you mean? Just steam. How long that take? Until there's no more. It's almost done. Oh, that's why I'd be blowing up in people's faces. Because they just be opening that joint. Boom, boom. Really? And then it's grabbing the handle. See, it's almost done. So you gotta wait till there's no more sound. Mm. What? That's tough, bro. 
You think it's over? That's tough as hell. You think it's over, though? Flavor's good, though. Guys, that's, that's tough and rubbery. You think we over? I don't know. It's overdone, then it should be t tender. <laughs> you want to put it back in there? I don't know, Mom. No, that is done. Yeah, it's done, but why is it not breaking apart? Maybe it needs more time. You want to put it back in like five minutes? I don't know. Girl, at this point, it's probably already over. So, how was your experience with the Instapot? It was quite scary, to say the least. But for what we made, I'd say the pressure cooker wasn't the best thing to use because it was so tough when we were done. But what we have is a pressure cooker and a slow cooker, like a crock pot all in one. So, we did this chicken in the pressure cooker for about, it was like, 12 minutes and then we ended up having to put in the slow cooker for like two hours so wow to break it down yeah so but it turned out really good the flavor was really good in it yeah i'm surprised that recipe was pretty good for taco seasoning mm -hmm. but highly recommend the pressure cooker or the, the what is that i don't even know what that is but instapot oh Instapot is great. So, no, it's not an Instapot. It's, power it's a Power Quick Pot. Yeah, the Power Quick Pot. We've been calling it an Instapot. I don't know what we've been calling it, Instapot. Sorry. Where did that come from? I don't know because it's just like an Instapot. So what's the difference with the lids of the Instapot and, oh. the, and, the, crock, and the crock pot stuff? Yeah, it comes with two lids. So this is for the pressure cooker. And this one, it locks in place and you can't open it unless you like, you gotta open it, open it. Release the steam first. Yeah. And with the crock pot version, you can use the crock pot way. And it's just like a normal like pot lid. I'm going to eat some of the chicken that Bobby made. And I'm cleaning out the refrigerator. It's Tuesday evening, so we clean out the refrigerator every Tuesday because um, trash is in the morning. And this is the kimchi I use. So I'm having a little bit of the chicken, especially since it's so late. It's almost 10 o'clock at night, it's 9.43. So, and it is so good together. So good. So I just finished, figured out. So I just figured I'll just finish off the kimchi until it's time to get another jar so good this is the brand i love i got this from walmart and probiotic great for digestive health um it's excellent for you um probiotic is definitely good for your mood and digestive system and if you have a good digestive system it kind of affects your overall body so anyway this is a great way to get probiotics so I eat this yogurt. Um, Activia also has um, billions of live and active probiotics, supports gut health. So probiotics, probiotics, and then with my yogurt, if I don't eat anything else, I do try to eat the yogurt, um, and I'll put a few, um, like a tablespoon of this inside the little, inside the little yogurt. Um, I typically don't eat until late. Maybe not like until three or four in the afternoon, which is not good. So that's why I want to refrigerate in my room. I don't know. Sometimes I just don't leave my room. I don't know. I don't know if it's a mood. Well, these probiotics need to help with my mood, y'all. 